I'm Commissioner Floyd Tidd, the Territorial Commander for the Salvation Army in the Australia Southern Territory. I'm here in Western Australia for a very special occasion. On the 22nd of February, a new 102 bed facility for the homeless of Perth will open its doors. The Beacon has been a highly ambitious project, but one which will provide a constant ray of light to those in need of hope. Right throughout Western Australia, the Salvation Army is working hard through over 63 social programs such as drug and alcohol rehabilitation services, domestic violence services, doorways programs, and through our street teams who go out into the dark areas of Perth at night to meet the very raw and basic of human needs. Our service helps the broader community by serving the people that are most disadvantaged within the community. On the weekends we go out to where there are known homeless squats, where there are known places that people are staying, just to serve people that are needing water, needing food, people that need sleeping bags, those sort of things. We also go beyond that and try to refer them into accommodation services and provide the bridge between the street and the service providers. And then we try also to hook them into other means that beyond the first encounter are going to help them. So they come into our doorways program or we hook them up with other social programs that we run to try and provide long-term solutions to the issues of homelessness and park dwelling that we're encountering here in the city. The Doorways Perth service is uh, mainly looking after inner, inner suburbs of Perth. It sees some 4,500 clients a year. It involves some 33 programs, which are mainly uh, the old emergency relief programs, and there are also financial counselling, early learning centre and family accommodation programs. The benefit for our clients is that we're able to assist people uh, along the way. It's more a hand up, it is not the old handout type of service and it is a case management program that is designed to assist people um, to be able to manage their lives better without having to come to the, our services constantly looking for assistance. We're a spiritual based drug and alcohol service that uh, offers a wide range of services for adults over 18 and it also helps the families who are suffering because of their uh, loved ones. We have classes on spiritual concepts. We have chapel services, we have discussion groups and uh, all the clients attend the Perth Fortress Corps every Sunday. Our aim is to not only help them overcome their addiction but to hopefully fit them to go back into the community and hopefully get meaningful jobs and uh, be a contributor back to society. At the Graceville Centre we provide accommodation for women and children escaping family and domestic violence and we are providing them with programs to help them to move on to a pathway of hope and a new future. At our centre we're able to look after 12 groups of people at the two refuges that we have but we also have transitional housing. As a result of our service we have stabilising families, families who can contribute to society. We have children who have a hope and a future because they go to school, they have a consistent, st stable family life and they can themselves contribute to the community in which they live. It is only through the generous and gracious hearts of our supporters that the Salvation Army can deliver on our commitment to transforming lives and caring for people. I thank the people of Western Australia for your continued compassion for those of us who need hope and for the privilege that you afford the Salvation Army to serve our community. Thank you and God bless.